Hello, today I'm going to be introducing you to the good life. Hands up, who would not want a slice of the good life? I know we all hanker for it, even if it's just a ditzy, tiny little bit. Well, the good life in this video game is about a debt repayment RPG. No, don't turn off, don't turn off. It's not as boring as I've just made that sound. It's a game that's been developed by White Owls Inc. And it's been published by Playism. And we play as a character called Naomi from New York. And she's sent to a backwards British town. Don't know exactly what that is, being British oneself. However, apparently we have a backwards British town called Rainy Woods, where we have to pay off this massive debt. However, the inhabitants are a bit bizarre. That's all I'm going to say. So let's jump in and find out what this game is all about. One day, by a stroke of luck, a poor orphan named Dick Whittington found himself... Oh, Dick Whittington and his cat. The two became close, and the cat proved very useful, working awfully hard for him. Before long, Whittington came to treasure the cat as an irreplaceable ally. And, sure enough, after he offered the cat to a merchant ship, Whittington suddenly acquired a massive fortune. This changed. Well, he kind of liked the cat very much if you just forever. sold him. But Whittington didn't simply use that fortune for his own benefit. Oh no? He paid it back to the many people who had helped him over the years. Such philanthropy, coupled with his honest character, led him to marrying a wonderful wife. In time, he was even elected Lord Mayor of London. This is the story of Dick Whittington and his cat, one every good Brit knows well. Every good Brit. However, dot dot dot. Whatever happened to the cat once it had brought good old Whittington all his copper and joy, you ask? Well, I do. Whatever happened to the cat? To it is a mystery. Not even Dick Whittington himself. Prologue. Rainy Woods. Oh, good old English countryside. Would the sheep actually stay in that van like that? I'm not so sure they would. Oh, English village. They do look like this, some of them, especially the older ones. We have a coffee shop. They're a pub. Well, Gotta be a pub. Rainy Woods. The way you'd want to come here. They used to call it the happiest town in the world. But that was over 30 years ago. They used to call now it that. What do they call it now then? And full of weirdos. <laughs> full of weirdos. Brilliant. If I say seeing you're after, you'd be better off heading somewhere like Windermere, Ooh, Windermere Grassmere. Grassmere, very nice. That's the Lake District, so is that where we're at? Own, she is rude. She just slammed the door on him. That's rude, lady. That's not how we do the things around these parts. Ooh, look at those sunglasses. They're awful. You've just arrived. It looks really pretty. This is Naomi Haywood, a photographer from New York. Well, I'm not warming to you, Naomi. Now, be polite. Why someone like Naomi come to this far-flung corner of England? Indeed, why would she? Because of all the interesting things to photograph, of course. Oh. That's the official line, anyway. Her true oh. reasons lie elsewhere. Naomi has a secret. A certain client has asked Naomi to investigate a secret. And she's hoping this job will help her escape a colossal mountain of debt. A colossal mountain of debt? Who is this client? Well, that'll become clear soon enough. Let's just see what happens next, shall we? Let's do that, Mr. Storyteller. Well then, are you ready? Yes, I am. Ah! Oh, don't they have pest poo. control around here? Oh, you don't wipe it off with your hand. That's just cost. dirty. Goddamn hellhole. No! Oh, get a tissue, love. That's just dirty. Welcome to Rainy Woods. 
Thank you, this Elizabeth is the Dickens. Town in the world. We do you don't look very happy. Here. How do you do? It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Hayward. I'm Elizabeth Dickens. I've been waiting for you ever since I received word that you'd be arriving in our town today. <laughs> the master manipulators strike again. I beg your pardon. I wasn't talking to you, girl. She's rude. What? G girl? Anyway, girl, you know where I can find a place to stay around here? Somewhere that's got a clean tub, Wi-Fi and room service. Don't you worry, Ms. Hayward. I've got your house all sorted for you. My house? That's right. No room service, I'm afraid. But it does have a lovely garden. You can use the internet there, too. Hey, if you think you can rip me off, you're barking up the wrong tree. Oh, my. Rip you off? Oh, you're a funny one, Ms. Hayward. That house is a gift to you from our town. A gift? Yes, a gift. Why would you gift a house? Just what are you scheming, huh? Gee, <laughs> scheming? Why, nothing at all, of course. But it doesn't make any sense. Why would you give a free house to someone you don't even know? This is Rainy Woods, the happiest town in the world. We welcome everyone who comes to visit us here. Now, I must admit, I'm agreeing with Naomi on this. That does sound a little bit odd. What's more... I heard that you'll be staying with us for quite some time, in which case it's only proper that you get your own house to rest in at night now, isn't it? But still... Oh, that's right, I've also already had your belongings collected from Town Hall and delivered to the house. How about heading there now so you can get yourself sorted? I'm sure you'll love it. You know, you're pushier than I thought. Hee <laughs> well, I am the one in charge of our Town Hall. Anyway, as I said before, welcome to Rainy Woods. This is the happiest town in the world. Please accept my heartfelt welcome and make yourself at home. It does seem a little odd that they'd give me a house. So the destination icon is the red blob on your screen. Let's go then. Main quest, home is where you make it. Let's go home. Can we go a little faster? What's this thing flashing down here? Sage seeds. All the nutrients condensed in these seeds make them ten times as powerful as a leaf. Okay, I presume we need to do this for like making stuff, cooking stuff, who knows, doing something. And this will be a coarse beetle. A beetle with a coarse texture. Seems like it might taste bitter. A bitter beetle, one would say. Oh my god, it's going to take me forever to get anywhere. There's stuff all over the shop. Mint seed. All the nutrients condensed, blah, 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 yet 10 times powerful. So we're going to be cooking stuff then, I assume. Can we sprint? Is sprint a thing? Oh, yes, I'll be sprint. Oh, we have stamina. Are we going to run out? What happens if we run out? Honey, I'm home. We have a little shed. Nice view, actually. I wouldn't mind staying somewhere like this. Naomi's house. Oh, she's put a little plaque on there for us as well. How nice and very creepy at the same time. I'm sure you'll love it. She's got some nerve. Oh, I quite like it, Naomi. It's quaint. It's all dirty. The garden's a mess. This place is even more of a dump than I expected it to be. Cheapest creepers. It's free, love. You can always clean it up. And it's not even close to the town. I'm in the backwards. Within the backwards. Oh, geez. This is why you can never trust anyone who gives you something for free. But I guess on the bright side, it'll give me total privacy. <laughs> Considering the reasons I came out to this godforsaken place, it might be the perfect hideout. I'm intrigued, Naomi, as to why. What secret are you hiding? But I like this improvement in your attitude. Every cloud has a silver lining. Your pint glass is half full, not half empty. Look on the positive side, love. Let's go into the house and check it out. Oh, very sparse. Oh, well, at least I have a computer. But look at this CRT. Look at that monitor. Oh, my God. That takes me back a year or ten. 
check the computer. All right, hang on a minute. Let me just check around here. Look at the cobwebs. Dude, seriously, clean your house. Cook. What's in the box? A potato! A root vegetable that's practically a national food. Not wrong. In some regions, it can be served on the side or even as the main dish. We've got some potato seeds as well that we could plant in the garden. I did see the beds there, so we could plant these seeds in the beds. Nice. So we're going to be harvesting stuff. What's in here? We've got a dresser. Beauty care. Time for some beauty care? Why not? What do we have to do? Oh. Short and sweet. We've got all sparkly. Change your clothes. Ooh, we could change clothes. Nice. We can get. I don't like those shades, but they're the only ones she's got. That's the only shirt we've got. We haven't got much going on at all, really. Okay, so we're going to get stuff, I guess, on missions and things. Shower room. Should I take a shower? Absolutely, take a shower. You've just had a very long journey from New York. Take a shower, love, and freshen up. Oh, I feel so refreshed. Do we sleep? Oh, we can sleep. Sleep is a thing. Right. Let's go check this PC. Got a wood burner. PC, Mama. All right, I'm on it. PC. So damn slow. It often is in the uh, backwoods of British villages. They don't have very fast internet at the moment. First things first, I need to check and see if my clients sent me anything. So, this would be Lucy Turner. This is Lucy Turner from Morning Bell News. I'm sure you've already heard about the new photo sharing service that's taken the world by storm. Flamingo. It has a new type of system where you can make money through advertisement fees paid out by sponsors based on the number of emokes you earn. I thought it might help you pay off a little of your debt, so I made an account for you. The app is also already installed on the PC I sent to your house. So after you read this email, start up the app and give it a try. I'm rooting for you and I'll always be here to support you along the way. Well, thank you, Naomi. That's jolly kind of you. Hope you arrive safely. If you're reading this, you must have safely made it to Rainy Woods. I'm sure you must be exhausted. Oh, I am so exhausted, darling. After such a long trip. But of course, we didn't send you there just so you could enjoy a relaxing, idyllic vacation. We want to know why people call it the happiest town in the world. Your job is to bring that secret to light. As I'm sure you know, the current amount you owe our company is £30,000. Holy, holy moly. That is a lot of money. How the heck has Naomi got herself into that much debt? During your stay in town, we here at Morning Bell News will send you a series of job requests. We'll pay you handsomely for each job, so be sure to use a portion of your profits to help pay off your debt. And of course, even if you don't manage to do all the jobs, as long as you can unveil the town's secrets to us, we promise to pay out the full reward for all the requests combined. Oh, uh, okay, this I'm rooting for you is just her standard sign-off. I thought she was being nice, but now she's not. So, all right, ta-ta, Lucy. Oh, jeez. What's this? Flamingo, huh? I hate apps like this, but if it helped me make money off my photos, I might as well check them out. Guess I should upload a photo and test it out. Okay, do we have a photo? Do we have a photo to upload? Oh, we do. Nice. Let's upload it. Yes, do it. Even the internet out here is prehistoric. This is why I hate the boonies. What is the boonies? I don't know. Do you guys know what the boonies is? If you do, please let me know in the comments. Thank you. And while you're down there, subscribe. Thank you very much. If I sit and wait for this to finish uploading, I'll be here until the sun goes down. I should head back to the town centre and start doing some legwork. Naomi's a professional photographer. Yes, we've established this. If you find any subjects worth photographing, 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 don't be afraid to snap a few shots. Aim with LT, press RT. Easy. Tags. In camera mode, you'll see green plus marks next to objects and people if they're properly in frame. 
If you center in on an object or person, green words known as tags will also appear. Tags are important hints to help you complete certain quests and fulfill certain hot words. After taking a picture, you can press LB to check the picture and make sure it has the tag you were after. On Flamingo, there will always be a group of hot words listed with hashtags that can help you earn the most emokes possible. Right, let's go investigate them. But before we do that, I want to plant my potato seeds. Guess what? I knew it. I knew we could plant it. I just knew it. I saw those raised beds and I thought, this is planting. Guess what? You can plant seeds in your garden. Happy days. If you plant a seed in your garden and wait over a day, it'll start to grow. Once it's fully grown, you'll be able to harvest it as a material. You can also carry objects into your garden and decorate it as you wish. Your garden can only hold so many objects though, so be careful. Let me plant the potato seeds then. How do I do it? What should I plant here? Oh, look, yes, because we've been collecting stuff. We can plant things. Let's put the potato seeds in. Do it. Fabulous. And then over here. Let's put the mint because mint goes well, doesn't it, with potatoes. Personally, I don't like it, but I'm told it goes well. That'll do. Right, let's crack on. So we've got to go and investigate the town. No, but we have mail. We have mail. Do I need to go back? I'm going to go back. We've got mail. As written in the subject, your first job is to take pictures of certain inhabitants of the happiest town in the world and upload them to Flamingo. Of course, we don't want you to run out there and photograph any old person. First, we'd like to start with the town hall employees. William Dickens, Rita Barrett. I'm sure they'll be happy to cooperate. Once we confirm that the photos you uploaded match up with our list, we'll deposit your reward of £50. I know that you don't have the most stable internet out there, so I don't expect you to reply to me every time. Don't worry, I've always got my eyes on you. Not sounding too creepy there then. So this is a side quest. Side quests then. Everyone in town is a member of either Team Cat or Team Dog. You can tell who's on which team by looking at the icons next to their names. Townspeople will say different things to you depending on the position of name is DC gauge, dog cat gauge possibly, which changes based on offerings made to shrines, the quests you complete and the first time per day you play with people as a cat dog or the first time per day you interact with cat dog form villagers as a human. So the villagers turn to cats and dogs is what we're saying here. Interesting. Let's go meet the people. I'm William and Rita. What have we got here? An ATM machine. Welcome. Please choose an option. Withdraw money. I guess we need some money, right? If we're going to be wandering around a town. How much should I withdraw? Just £10 for now. We've got £500 to start with. That's quite cool. Thank you for your patronage. At ATMs, you can deposit and withdraw money. If you get a game over, ooh, why would we get a game over? Are we going to die? You'll lose some money as a penalty, so always be depositing. Money you earn through Flamingo and quests will automatically be deposited into your bank account. So if you run out of money, don't forget to check your balance. Ooh, now I'm intrigued. Why would we die? Why would there be a game over? Oh, there's the Lady Elizabeth in here. Hello, Elizabeth. Oh, with William. Let's take a photo of William then. William has a dog sign next to him, so he's team dog, right? Oh, hi, Elizabeth. Let's have your photo. That's beautiful. William, do you mind if I just take a photograph of you eating? Do we have to talk to him? Good day. I'm William Dickens, the only novelist who lives in this town and coincidentally the greatest novelist in the known world. Not very modest novelist, are you? My genius is a natural talent bestowed upon me by God. What I like to call my ever-flowing fountain of creativity. I'd like to hear what everyone else calls it, says Naomi. I love it. Incidentally, Elizabeth is my younger sister. I do hope we'll maintain an air of civility between the three of us. She don't look much like your sister. Are you guys adopted? Different parents? As in different mother, father? She doesn't have a cat or dog next to her. Who are you? Bruno. Bruno's team dog. 
What are you stuffing in your face, Bruno? Mushrooms. Too many mushrooms, dude. You might make yourself like sick. Oh, I don't believe I've met you before. My name is Bruno Evans. I run a cafe called Mushroom and Evans. <laughs> Good grief, I serve some pretty delicious dishes there, so I do hope you'll drop in at some point. Yeah. Mmm, a cafe with delicious food, as long as you like mushrooms, I guess. All right, I'll check it out sometime. What's this? This is the pub. This has got to be the pub. Every English village has a pub. It does. Oh, hello, Michelle. Team dog. What's she doing? She's shaking. Shake it, ladies, shake it. Let's talk to Michelle. Michelle O'Reilly. Oi now, ye look like a lass who enjoys a good bevy. I'm Michelle O'Reilly, the bartender here at 1977. Feel free to pop in whenever you fancy getting fluttered, like. What's fluttered? Well, I think she means like a little merry, a little tipsy perhaps, but I've never heard it called fluttered before. We're still looking for Rita. Rita, where you at? Are you Rita? Who's this child that keeps running across the road? Emma. Don't go running across roads, it's dangerous. Look for traffic. Nice pose. Let's talk. How are you? Hmm, who are you? Hey. I'm Naomi Hayward, a photographer from New York. A photographer, huh? Okay, I'm Emma McCauley. <laughs> My grandpa's the vicar. Good to know. Post shop. Oh, Rita could be in the post shop. She could run it, couldn't she? Let's go have a look. Anybody in here? Hello? Anybody here? Oh, we've now gone into a clothes shop. Nice. Hello. Oh, it's Virginia Yeats. She's posing for the camera. I love it. <laughs> Hello, Virginia. Oh, what? Where are you gone? Oh, she's back. Let's cool. talk. It's you. I'm Virginia Yeats. I run Fancy and Bunny, a little shop that sells knickknacks. I'm actually a tailor, though. If you just bring me the materials, I can stitch together whatever you like. Now, don't forget, Virginia Yeats is this town's number one tailor. Probably the only one in the town, I'm guessing. I'm especially busy from midnight to early morning, so you'd better not come knocking during that time. Pretty sure I'm going to be asleep at midnight until early morning. The Downer Hotel. Is Rita in here? Oh, hello, Morris. He looks very sad. Are you all right there, Morris? You look like the picture to your right. Bless you, Morris. Can we talk? Morning. Mmm, I haven't seen you around here before. My name is Morris Downer. I run the Downer Hotel Bed and Breakfast. Oh dear, you could have thought of a better name. Downer. You probably think it's going to put you on a downer being in it. Looking at the decor. Not very, um... Uplifting and inspiring. And due to being constantly pursued by the angel of death, I haven't slept for the past 30 years. What the actual heck? <laughs> I look forward to getting to know you. <laughs> Goodbye, Morris. Creepy dude. Let's get out of here. Go in here. Is she in the grocery store? Oh, oh, hello. Thomas Berryman, team dog. I'm taking pictures of everybody. What have you got there, Thomas? How's life treating you? <laughs> Hello there, young lady. Nice to meet you. Why is the writing all of a sudden huge? I'm Thomas Berryman, manager of Butcher and Grocery. Okay, do you mind talking at a normal volume? Oh, he's shouting. That's why it's so loud. <laughs> Sorry, that's never been my forte. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, my God, that legit made me jump. What are you doing in my face, Elizabeth Dickens? Miss Hayward, do have a moment. Seriously? Whoa, where did you come from? It'll be a full moon tonight, so I must ask you to refrain from going outside. Huh? It's still a bit early for you. Once the moon begins to rise, I must ask you to return home quickly and stay indoors. And why exactly do I have to do that? Because I've asked you nicely is why. Ooh, Elizabeth, that sounds like a threat. You mustn't go outside at night. If you would. It's for your own good. Oh, you see, now I need to know. I need to be outside at night now. I need to be out. Don't go out tonight. Well, we are, aren't we, people? You just know it. Ah, Rita! 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 <gasps> Do 
you rush to the toilets? No, she's here. Hello, Rita. Do you mind if I just take a photograph of you, love? Right, let's talk to her. Oh, I'm Rita Barrett. I work at Town Hall. To commemorate our meeting, allow me to recite for you a poem. <laughs> the question, who are you, is the same as who am I? That's definitely one hell of a vapid, pointless poem. Rita, can I take a photo of your face? Wait, now. No, that's the best we can do with Rita. Right, so we upload. And we've got to wait till the evening. What happens when we run out of stamina? Let's try. Oh, she just goes super slow. What's the point of the stamina then if it refills so quickly? Right, let's upload these photos. Flamingo. Upload. Rita. Yes. And then we'll upload another one. Yeah. Done. <laughs> $65 pounds even. We confirm that the photos you uploaded match up perfectly with our list. I always knew I could trust you with this delicate research project. Next, we'd like you to investigate a different area. We heard that the happiest town in the world once had a booming tourism industry, but what about now? Our research tells us that there's only one inn, one cafe and one pub in town. Well, surely that's all you need. It's a tiny, tiny little village. Mushroom and Evans, 1977, and the Down Hotel b, &B. Yes, I've been there. You'd like to, uh, me to upload a photo of each establishment to Flamingo. Time to go out. Come on, let's get out there. I want to know why we can't go out at night. Let's go. The girl told me not to go outside at night. That just makes me want to do it even more. You're not wrong there, Naomi. Whatever. Time to go check out the town. Let's do it. Full moon. Very picturesque. What the? There's cats and dogs all over the place. The way we saw a villager turn into a cat and dog. Where do all the people go? Huh? There. No way. Is is this the town's big secret? Big secret. That's right. This town's been hiding a rather beastly secret. Now this is one hell of a scoop. Oh, she's back. Why is she not Let's turned into a cat or a dog? Hold on. Hold on. Hey, lady. Why are you the only one who's still normal? Well, you're normal as well, Naomi. An urgent quest. As you make your way through the story, you'll sometimes come across urgent quests. Make sure you don't let yourself get distracted, which we all know I am very good at letting happen. If you want to complete these before, so they're timed, they're timed quests, right. Let's go then. We've got to focus on Elizabeth. Who I assume went this way. Oh yeah, there she is, off she trots. Ooh, something glowing in the bell tower. It looks like there's something up on that church's bell tower. Maybe it's related to what's happening. I should check it out and send a report back to Morning Bell if I find anything. But how the hell am I going to get up there? I don't know. Maybe go inside the church and climb up that way. All right, all right, I'll follow you. Destination Forest Depths. Ooh, suddenly gone all foggy. And now wet. Brilliant. Spooky. It's Sunday! Okay, what, what does that mean then? Is that of any consequence? Witch's Forest. Uh oh. Ooh, what's this? Don't get distracted, Mama! Sage. I just can't help it. Something shiny, I need to know what it is. Jeez, what's her rush? Where did she go? Which house pharmacy? Goddamn hellhole. We're going in there, really? 
Really? Uh oh. <laughs> Do you realise what you just stepped into, sweetheart? People round here call this place the witch's house. The, the witch's house? <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot of hair. I <laughs> <laughs> love it. I'm yeah, man. Pauline Atwood. Hello, Pauline Atwood. Me, the Woodland Witch. The Woodland Witch. Oh, Pauline, you're tiny. What's that? Your hair's as big as you almost. So, what can I do for you? There, you smell like booze. <laughs> hey, tell me where it's against the rules to get absolutely bladdered in the comfort of your own home. Well, yeah, I guess you're right. Huh? And who might you be, sweetheart? What's got you barging into my home at this time of night for? Oh, right. Hey, Granny, did you see a girl named Elizabeth around here? She's a quiet type with red hair who rides around in this crazy high-tech wheelchair. And what exactly are you looking for, a girl named Elizabeth? I kind of see a similarity in hair here. Are they related? I thought she was going to take me somewhere, but then I suddenly lost track of her. And all the other townspeople turned into... That's right, something weird's happening in Rainy Woods right now. What's going on? Do they have some sort of device set up that make people hallucinate? Or is it the result of some human experiment? It couldn't possibly be real magic, right? What on earth are you talking about, sweetheart? Um, uh, well, anyway... I just need to find a way to get to the top of the church's bell tower. I'm sure I'll be able to solve this mystery as long as I can get to what's up there. That's what my intuition as a pro photographer is telling me. I don't follow, but it looks to me like you've gotten a case of the collie wobbles. Huh? Huh? Well, see, I have this big debt and... Hmm. I think I've just got the thing for you. If you wish to solve all your problems, go and gather these things for me. If you can gather them all before time runs out, I'll make a very special concoction for you. A special concoction? <laughs> a concoction that will make you feel like you could fly right up to the heavens. That will get me really high. Does she mean physically or chemically? What I mean is, I'm sure it will take you right where you need to go. Yeah, baby! Hell yeah! All right, you sold me. I'll run your little errand for you. So simple-minded. That's one of my strengths. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. So what do I need to get? Three helpings of catnip, one tear fruit. That's it. That'll be easy. Oh, and a picture of the mural from the area. A picture of the mural? You said you're a pro photographer, didn't you? That mural contains the secret recipe I need to create the concoction. Instead of taking notes, I prefer it if you just brought me a photo. Seriously? Cool, this is just like an RPG. Okay, I just memorised all the things you want me to bring back. Well, I'm glad you memorised them because I've forgotten. Oh, and one last thing. This part's very important, sweetheart. You've got a time limit on all of this until 8 a.m. and not a tick past it. I can only create the concoction tonight with the moon surging with power. Creating the concoction at any other time will only serve to weaken its power. So I don't want to see any dilly-dallying. Okay, noted. Don't get distracted, Mama. Bring me what I need at once. Yeah. Leave it to me, Granny. I'll be back before you know it. Oh, and here's a little parting gift. I get the feeling you're going to become one of my best customers. Vitality pills. Pills prepared by the Woodland Witch. They're bitter and taste like crap, but can restore a ton of health. Why do I need to restore health? I get the impression we're going to be fighting stuff. Insomniac extract. Special capsules prepared by the Woodland Witch for nights when I can't afford to sleep. So we do need to sleep as well then. Oh, this one seems closest. 
go here first. Tear fruit, strange fruit that only grows in this region, filled with an unusual translucent juice. Right then, catnip and mural next. Why am I sparkling? What does that mean? Take a photograph of it. Gorgeous. Now then, how do we get out of here? That way. Leave it, Mama. Focus. You'll get distracted otherwise. Plenty of time later on, I'm sure, to pick up shiny, sparkly things. Oh, I forgot about the stamina. Knickers. Get out of the way, fluffy chow wow. We have catnip. Nice. Deliver them to Pauline. Go. Can we play with the cat? Can. Team cap shop prices have changed. Ooh. How happens if we play with the dog? I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Don't get stuck. Don't get distracted. Find a dog. Get back to what's her face. Where did we go? This way. Hello, dog. I don't know if that was a good thing or not, striking them, but they're there. So I stroke them. It's half past three. Let's hope that's not cost me dearly. We should be all right, though. I reckon we can get there before eight. As long as I don't get distracted anymore. I just don't see the point of the stamina bar at this stage. Maybe... The reason behind it will become clearer as we progress through the game. Here we are, 20 to 5, and we're back with your ingredients. Were you able to get everything I asked for, sweetheart? I was, yes. Huh? Three helpings of catnip, one tear fruit, and you even managed to snap me a shot of that mural. You're more skilled than I took you for, sweetheart. <laughs> if you say so. Now I can finally prepare the secret concoction. One sip and all your worries will be whisked away. I'm glad it was worth gathering up all that crap. Oh, it was worth it, all right. You find me the ingredients and I make you the concoctions. I'm digging this cushy, you roll mine, I'll roll yours deal we've got going. Good luck with the concocting then. In vino veritas. I love it. In wine there is truth. In vino veritas. Alcohol bring happiness to all. I'll roll and drink back on my pee. In vino veritas. In vino veritas. Ignoremus et ignorebimus. I'm getting sleepy. Do we need to go to sleep then, Naomi? Oh, what's happening? In vino veritas, in vino veritas, alcohol bringing happiness to all. I'll will throwing back. Special potion concocted by the Woodland Witch. It has a weird smell that sort of prickles my nose, but it'll make me a lot more agile morrow. Why has the screen gone black? Good morning, everybody. Oh, we're back here. What the? Everyone's, back, Everyone's to normal. back to normal. Yeah, they are. I just said that. Why, good morning. Why, good morning, Bruno. Lovely day, innit? <laughs> Elizabeth, you've got Elizabeth. some explaining to do. How does she know about the church That's tower? Right. The church That's right. Bell tower. The church's bell tower. How does she know about that? The witch's concoction is supposed to make me higher than a kite. Time to give this thing a try. I'm not sure I would. Would you? I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments if you would actually try that concoction. <gasps> what? What's going on? We've been turned into a cat with sunglasses on our head. <laughs> Hello, pretty cat. Cat's eye sensibility, proof that you've acquired the sensibility of a cat, allows you to transform into a cat whenever you want. Your transformation into a cat helped to reawaken your animal instincts. The cat's eye sensibility has been added to your key items 
Now that you have this, you'll be able to transform into a cat whenever you want, as you do. Let your inner animal out and explore more of Rainy Woods. Scale the church's bell tower. Right then, let's go up to this bell tower. We go. <laughs> Look at this cat go! Why is there a red dot? Oh yeah, that's where we need to go. I thought that was the enemy all of a sudden. This cat's got super speed. Use your animal vision to climb the tower. While you're a cat, you'll see glowing claw marks near buildings and walls. Simply hold LT to activate your animal vision then target the claw marks and press RT to leap up the surface in a single bound. Aha, there. One clever cat. Ooh, what is that? Oh, the cat's got sunglasses on. Brilliant. Oh, what's happened to us? Okay, so my next report's Gonna be a real doozy, huh? No way. What is going on? This place. This place. God damn hell hole. Hell hole. Afterwards, Naomi returned to the Woodland Witch and told her what had happened. But the witch just feigned ignorance, claiming her concoction was just a type of natural sedative. The dodgy kind of substance that has somehow skirted the definition of legal. She said she only made it up because Naomi looked so distressed. And it certainly wasn't capable of doing anything as preposterous as turning a person into an animal. According to Pauline, when Naomi saw the townspeople turning into animals, it was actually a hallucination caused by the stress of... I'm not buying that. Place. Naturally, Naomi's client wouldn't be happy to receive such a report. And so it seemed Naomi would not be free of her debts. There's more to it than this. Naomi. Keep your chin up, Naomi. So we get history lessons in this game too. How cool. Prologue part two, golden eggs. So this is where I'm gonna end today's recording. What an interesting game. It's certainly not what I was expecting. I hope it's given you a little bit of an insight into uh, what to expect when playing the game. It's currently free on Xbox Game Pass and it's also available on Steam and it's available on the Nintendo Switch and the PlayStation. If it's the type of game that you want to see me play some more of, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you've played it. Let me know what you think of it. I'm intrigued, I must admit, about the story, the secret and the concept of at night, people turn into cats and dogs. Why? You've got to admit that is a little curious. So I'd appreciate it, guys, if you'd hit the thumbs up for me, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you have yet to do so. If you like watching live streams, you can find me on Twitch. I also have a Facebook page and I hang around a fair bit in Twitter. The links to these I've popped in the description. Or you can go to www.mamasgaming.co.uk. Until next time, I wish you all a fabulous remainder of your day. Ciao for now.